let's take a look at how to create a simple bar chart for a categorical predictor and a continuous scale outcome. This will allow us to look at some of the means by groups and give us a handle on uh, what the results may uh, show us. Our categorical predictor will be highest degree, individual's highest degree earned. And if we look at the values here, you see we have four values, less than high school, high school, junior college, I'm sorry, five values, bachelor and graduate. Values seven through nine are coded as missing. We're going to look at two continuous dependent variable scales, uh, TV hours, which is a number of days, uh, no, I'm sorry, number of hours per day watching TV, and word sum, which is the uh, number of words correct in a vocabulary test. So let's graph TV hours first. We're going to go under graphs, legacy dialogues. This is the easiest way to create a simple chart. And we're going to choose bar. From here, we're using the default options. A simple bar chart and the data in the chart are summaries for groups of cases. We're going to click define. And now we have to define the individual elements of our bar chart. First, what do we want the bars to represent? By default, it represents n frequencies, the number of cases. We don't want that. We want another statistic. And in fact, we do want the mean. Over here, I'm going to right click and change the display to display variable names instead of variable uh, labels. It's easier to read this way. And the bars are going to represent TV hours first. And on our category axis, we're going to put in degree. Under options, we're going to choose to display the error bars. And we want the 95% confidence intervals here. Click continue, and we're going to paste that. I'm going to put a note to myself in syntax. Bar chart of TV hours by degree, period. So you can see it's a simple bar chart with a mean TV hours by degree. And here's our confidence interval. I'm going to highlight all of this and use this run button to execute it. And here's our output. As you can see, the higher the degree, the fewer the hours per day watching TV. You can also see that the confidence intervals about each group mean are quite a bit different. And that could be due to various reasons. Let's edit this chart a little bit to uh, make it easier to read and give us a little more information. We're going to double click on it. And in the chart editor window, the first thing I want to do is add the actual mean values to the bars. And you don't do this for actual publication. This is purely for visual inspection. So under elements, I'm going to choose show data labels. And you can see now the actual means are displayed on the bars themselves. Something else I could change is the color scheme of the chart. I always like to get rid of this gray background here. If I click on the background in the properties window, immediately will come up this fill and border tab and it shows the fill and border of the background. I'm going to change the border, I'm sorry, the fill from this bland gray to a transparent color. Click apply and it turns clear. And next, I'm going to change the color of the bars from this gold brownish color. If I click on them, they all become highlighted. And again, I'm going to change the fill from this gr uh, brown gold color to transparent. And now I have a very simple uh, black and white chart. If I wanted to highlight a single bar or multiple bars in this group, I would do the following. Click on the bars again. Now they're all highlighted. To pick a single bar, you can click on the, that bar again. And now only that bar is highlighted. Now I can change the fill of that bar. And I can do this for each bar or bars that I just want to compare. So now these two are highlighted and stand out from the others.
Okay. So here's our product in terms of just looking at uh, comparing group means. Um, when you're again, when you're actually going to use a bar chart like this in a paper, uh, you wouldn't have these uh, data labels. You can go back under data labels and choose hide, and they'll go away. So what we see again here is as degree increases, number of hours per day watching television decreases. Let's run this again for the variable word sum. And I'll do this from scratch and show you how to could do it in syntax as well. Let's go under graphs and legacy dialogues and bar chart. We want a simple bar chart with summaries for groups of cases. We'll click define. And I'm going to click reset so I can show you this from scratch again. First thing I did was right clicked over here to change this display to the variable names from the labels. And then I selected what I wanted the bars to represent. I want another statistic. I want the mean uh, word sum. And in the category axis, I put degree. Under options, I checked display error bars to get the 95% confidence intervals. Continue and paste that. Take a look at our syntax here. And I'll put a new note in. Bar chart of word sum by TV by a degree. If I wanted to do this strictly from syntax, I could just copy and paste this and edit it to match this. Either way is fine. All right, let's highlight this second bar chart syntax and execute that. Okay, the first thing we should notice is that we have the opposite effect here. For word sum, the higher degree, the greater number of words correct on a vocabulary test. This time we can see the competence intervals are also a little bit closer than we saw up here. Let's double click on this, and again, I'm going to display under elements, I'm going to show data labels. Something else you can do here is if you go under the text style tab, when these are highlighted, you can change the size of the text. By default, it's set to 8. If I click on size, I can change this to whatever I want, make it larger or smaller. And I can change the color and so forth. I'm going to change the background again by clicking on the background. And I'm going to change the fill from this light gray to transparent again. And I'm going to change the bars again. Clicking on them, changing the fill from that gray, uh, I'm sorry, that brown gold to transparent. And again, if I want to change a single bar, when I have all of the bars highlighted, I click again on a single bar, and now I can change that, the attributes of that particular bar. I can change the color. I can even change, if I click on this by itself, I can do the same thing with the value and the mean. I can make this larger. Oh, it changed them all. It should only change one, but it changed them all. All right, don't do that. <laughs> but you can change at least the color of the bar for that particular bar. Okay. And by clicking on the values, you can remove them under elements and choose hide data labels. You can also do it without clicking on it, but usually they're highlighted when you select them, so we'll get rid of them. All right, so there are two simple bar charts.